Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck are you? Let me dry them up. Too cold. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch it, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'll be preparing for you brown stew pork, no ketchup, no browning. You saw we have the chicken up there, brown stew chicken, no browning, no ketchup. Now we are going to turn to the pork. No browning, no ketchup. I have my seasons here, seasonings of choice. That is, you choose what you want to do, family. My main ingredients here for this pork will be some green scallion, some fresh green thyme, some ginger root, fresh, and lots of garlic. I have in here, inside my little grinder here, some pimento seeds that I've ground it off. Those will be my main go-to and some salt. So, I have some pork chops here, four pieces, and I've just washed them, cleaned them up, make them have a nice look. No um, hair on the back here, nice, clean, and remember I tell you, don't choose the meat that is so red, because when it's like red, like here, it's hard to cook, and the main focus here is the skin. Once the skin part is cooked, everywhere is cooked. So, we are going to proceed to start seasoning them in the next clip. So, I have my scallions, my green thyme family. Remember to wash these things properly. Wash them, put them under the pipe, run. We have our scotch bonnet pepper, salt. I'm putting in a little dried basil and just my pimento seeds. So, what may I go the right hand over here? So, now with this two pound, may have my little pimento seed or my crush. I remember pimento seeds strong. If you don't have pimento seeds, you can grind some old cloves, you know, or if you have the cloves powder what have you okay my very first go to is to grate off my ginger garlic is my mix you can beat you can make a paste with your ginger and your garlic you can do it so many ways but i prefer to grate that you can chop it fine the way you want to okay now i'm gonna be adding some thyme and you can put some of the sticks them in there if you want but not the big big ones you see what i mean say all them party you don't need them party in there because we don't need it with no soup you see what i mean say this has flavor too you know but them party are more like thin as soup and tea and all them so so we are dealing with the time fresh time nice and look good now it's time for the big boy and we want a lot like simply a lot a lot of this let me get my knife family if you want to cut up and dice up you can do that but look here i'm gonna do this one like mama used to like granny used to like all our old people them used to back in the days these are the parts we want a whole got to hell of all of them these are the parts that has the season, it has the flavor. I'm gonna dump all of this in there and come back. You want some of this thing here in there? Scotchy, that one here look young. But do your thing. This is not, a, this is not, you know. Do to your liking with this, remember? Do to your liking with this. So, you can go ahead and you can use your powdered seasonings. And you can use your stuff. I'm doing it back like back in the days when mama and granny and auntie used to do it. They never have no basil, but me have some dry basil. I love the flavor. So me I put some. Not a lot. But this is a beautiful flavor. Now for the salt. Now we are cooking fresh pork. We na do brown stew pork. Um we na do canned pork. Fresh pork makes your bowels loose men and know for a reason ask anybody fresh pork loose up your bowel therefore we put a reasonable amount of time and the skelly and the ginger and the garlic now we are gonna put it's two pounds or a kilo now we are gonna put about a teaspoon of salt just for now 
okay now i am going to be doing a little rubbing up so look here be careful of the parts of the meat that you have if they are bones be careful how you go through because sometimes some of these bones can be really sharp you know so you want to start dealing with this pan a nice level you know remember if you have your oil if other seasoning use your seasoning then this is my go-to i'm gonna take my time go through with these and i'm gonna rub in each individual slice and then me go come back on show you something else see okay this is my little rubbing up process and you can see say everybody well coated with me little thing them you see them everybody well coated it smells so nice already natural but you can do your thing because you know so everybody season them thing different right now it's not about the seasoning you know it's about the method right now so i'm not gonna tell you says if you want to season like me season like me i'm seasoning up like mama did back in the days we have potatoes we in jamaica say irish me don't know if i yucatan i don't know if a peninsula i don't know what they name but in jamaica we all call these irish they have been washed and they were in the refrigerator i am peeling these irish very thin i use my little knife so if you have your peeler go ahead me never use one of them i think me did use it one time i'm not sure i like it i see to me used to this yeah used to is that elevating peeling my potatoes because i'm gonna put my potatoes in there the potatoes will be browned you will see it and they will be cooked down with the pork but they after we brown them we are gonna put them in at a certain interval this is going to give the gravy the thickness just like all them used to do it back in the days may i peel them off and come back and i cut this one it's small so we are cut it like this and i'm gonna cut this one because we're gonna brown them and we're gonna cut it like this when we cut these potatoes and brown them and cook them down down in this they will give the gravy a nice nice thick um, thickness also when you eat a piece of this potato cook down in this brown stew pork gravy when we are different story so we're gonna have our potatoes to the top and all like that that you want to shoot them up on that yeah so in the next clip overnight preferably would be better but in the interest of time we are gonna leave this for one hour because look here when we season our thing then we can start cook same time in we have the hand like that next clip so family after about one and a half hour why may i tell you just like back in the days that's how we have it so we have a potato we am i tell you we are gonna be browning them off in between with the pork so what we want to do right here so now we know we want to get all these seasonings off each slice of this pork here you know try to get off as much as possible and you're not gonna start browning it you're not gonna start browning it on an eye eat that's the each that we are going to brown it on so look here you don't want it to brown on too much of a hurry forget it burn up and all them something this back in the days um, recipes family they were timely recipes mm? so there go. Start, you know and if you put it to the seasoning and go and burn it up in you know? season them i go burn up and see the top bone and you know when you want it from that level there. so we have really cut, i've been eating and we are trying to remove all the seasonings like the you know the skelly and all them something there and the time and all of them look for something yeah they can them something they got the panic i remember we grate it you know and that is why you have to brown it on the medium you know yeah so we are take with time and we are take off the seasonings and we are come back in at this you know you see how we are gonna do it okay so remember now we are not going to do it on too much of a high flame we are going to do it round it from side to side patiently slowly and all of that so here we go with our oil being preheated we are going to put in our first slice you see that the pot was just not too hot all right this is how we are gonna brown it so we are gonna brown we have four slices so we are gonna brown two first and then we are gonna brown two after right from side to side therefore so we can put about two or three because we are browned the, 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 the irish them with it too you know are the potatoes 
Yeah, so we can get a few pieces of the potato in. We are treating the potatoes just like how we treat the meat. We are browning it from side to side. The potatoes may brown before the meat, not sure. So when we are ready to turn over to the other side, I will return and you will see what I want. Okay, now family, it's time to start turning these boys. Yeah, you saw the potato, they have that nice pretty brown color. Yeah, so we have a brown them from the other side too. Remember, this won't make them cook right through, you know. So we'll show you as we go along. Now we are going to turn the pork, okay? You see that pretty color? And let me tell you, as I say and I continue saying family, do not do it on too much of an eye flame. You want to do it slow, so it goes slow. Whilst it's browning, it's cooking. So let us turn the other piece. Yeah. And try to get most of your slices. You see that pretty brown? Yeah. yeah. This is all we want them. So what we are going to do? We are going to get these two pieces properly browned and the rest of these potatoes on the other side. And these that we have in here, we are going to give them the same treatment, you know. Because they are the next patient. But when we are ready to take out them here, we are going to put the... I am going to come back to show you. We are going to put them right back in here in these flavors here. You want to call it cross contamination? Do your thing. This is how mama did it back in the days. Come to the comment section. All of you will know it. Talk to them. Let people understand that's how we did it back in the days. We are going to remove these that have been grown. Put them back right in here. We are going to proceed with the rest of them. And they will be there absorbing all of those herbs and sitting. And when we're ready to start put together, we are going to come back. Because look here, there's the potatoes have to be had at a certain interval, at a certain time. Because the pork are going at all times more chewy than the potato. I get the thing done always soon come come and say yo the trend can smell nice in our kitchen yeah next clip okay now family so we have a brown up pork pieces them and we have a browned up potatoes i'm gonna move remove the took the potatoes at this point they are almost cooked but not fully cooked okay i'll show you how and when i'll add them okay so i'll remove these and i'll leave them right there remember they were done in the seasonings with the rest of the meat taking up soaking up all of this flavor mm? all right over here i have finished my browning the browning process so you should have your hot water ready by now i'm gonna get my flame back up again and i'm gonna pour some hot water a little not a lot and i'm gonna leave it to boil up mind you you must let your pot cool down first before you start doing this. Because some people tend for just throwing everything as everything down and it fume up. But then again, your curtains and your drapes absorb all of that flavor. I mean, no, even though you love your food cook and nice, you don't really want it in the curtain them and the drape them. Not true. So look at this. That more you come up on this. This is the nice flavor. That is the brownness that we have down in there. And with the hot water, you see it's boiling up. It's coming to give me this pretty brown color. So with them nice little niceness down in there, I got to make it use my spoon, scrape it around, scrape it around, and make it come with the nice little brown thing. You see it down in there? It's one thing it'll deal with, you know. Yeah, so we can do it for a little eye flavor and all of that. Yeah. So, but, but I'm feel clean, and you see we have a nice thing. Now, what we are going to do right here, I'm going to come now, I'm going to start put my pieces and my slices of pork down in there but mind you i'll have to lower my flame at this point yeah okay i hope you're watching and you know click off and then you come miss debbie and miss debbie and miss debbie okay so there you go get that up and this is what we have these are our flavors these are our flavors we are gonna put them on the top there yeah yeah and we're gonna let them stay right there get our flame up a little you still go and do it on the medium and with that brownness from down in the pot and that extra brownness on the slices the slices of pork we're gonna get our gravy start even coming look more brown now look at this look at this and you start to start putting it there but you don't worry about it you're gonna do this slow also and we are gonna cook it until all of them seasons they are cooked out on the medium and as soon as this liquid recedes we are going to come back 
rinse out with seasoning bowl and we are going to put it in there with the hot water a little at a time turning over our pieces as we go along because they are on that one side and as soon as the water recedes you flip over your slice put a little more make sure your seasonings are all in there look at that look at that that is how you get the natural brown natural brown come at every school next clip liquid is receding i'll flip to my slices so what i'm gonna do now with the niceness we're leaving here so i'm just gonna put a little not a lot we don't want to put a lot if you're new here you will know that we don't put a lot okay and we're gonna rinse this nice flavor and we are gonna find somewhere to the side to pour this just to the side and to pour this okay you see we pour it and you see the meat is still brown that is all we do right on over here okay so you see you pour a little extra and you still have your brown gravy we're gonna flip from side to side from side to side on a medium heat flipping over each time using our nice juices from our meat and to cook or pour each time you come you must always flip over flipping over enables the meat slices to cook evenly you can't have it on one side each time you flip you want to come and do something like this you just come and just smother it over you're going to cook this at this space as soon as the liquid recedes until your the, the spot the, the skin part here is soft and tender and at that point we will return to add our potatoes show you how we are going to get this gravy thing and i love that next clip so look at this now family my pork skins are pork tender now you see my fork going through them all right so this is the perfect time for me to add my potatoes my potatoes that were not properly cooked i'm gonna put them in there now i'm gonna notch my flame up a bit and i'm gonna put some water to the side i'm gonna put a little more than we normally put all right we're gonna let this gravy come right up and cover these potatoes yeah we'll make it stay there we're gonna make it cook we we'll get it on the eye and we are going to make the gravy come right there it's going to cover the potatoes the potatoes are going to be cooked you will be coming and from side from time to time to turn over these potatoes lower the flame let it cook in the gravy one single thing you have here one single thing we have here we have some apple cider vinegar and we are going to throw some right in there just now no more than about a teaspoon or a little more than a teaspoon not as much as a tablespoon these potatoes are gonna get fork tender as the meat and it's gonna stay there and it's gonna thicken the gravy so you come each time and to move them around try not to get them mashed too much we don't really want them mash out you know so we're gonna turn them over very gentle remember i always tell the family there are certain things we do and when we do them in the kitchen we just go slow and gentle we are gonna leave it right there on the low and I have tasted for my final salt perfection. I had to add a little, had to add a little more salt. We're gonna leave it right there and let it stay right there. Come in about two times to turn over, flip over our potatoes. When you see me next, this brown stew pork without no ketchup and no browning, it will be ready. I'll plate up some for you with a little something, something. My soon come. Now our potatoes are starting to break down and you'll see the difference of the gravy. This is what we have potatoes are starting to break down then lower our flame because we are there you know we did it we did it and all like that this is what the gravy looks like potatoes are starting to break down and whatever little oil is in there it is absorbing it we can turn our flame off right at this point because you have some long belly people then want to put gravy we don't want the gravy dry out so in the next clip i'll have some oil plated up just for you
there you have it family from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to your family table to your palate and most of all to your stomach it is brown stew pork no ketchup no browning done just for you you have got your rice you've got a nice serving of veggies and better yet you've got your pork infused with the pork infused gravy potatoes to finish up this dish with choose your drink of choice water please do enjoy so once more this is like mama used to do it like gangang used to do it like auntie and sometimes like papa uncle kind of some long time big man cook back then remember to make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell look to the right press the uh, press the option that says all and make sure you leave me a comment below beautiful decent and principled remember to wash your hands in the description of this video and all my other videos and lives will be all that you want to know about me the info will be there thanks to all my patrons thank you thank you so much also the link to my patron will be pinned in the comment section and in the description of the video remember to be you do you most of all love you some prawns to pork no ketchup no brownie